Today we are looking at Kanoko Phillips stock and its technical and fundamental signals. We will cover all these points for better stock picking. Kanoko Phillips closed at $108.11 with the decrease of negative 2.87% in the last trading session. Let's look at today's trend indicators. The moving average is bearish. Technical indication is in downtrend, and overall daily trend for the stock is in declining trend. Looking at weekly analysis, the weekly stock trend is in declining trend. Today's market fear in greed index is 76, which is indicating extremely greedy emotion in the public sentiment. We usually look at this indicator to make our buy or sell decisions better. Kanoko Phillips gave negative 9.0. 0.1% returns in the last week, negative 8.38% in the last 30 days, and three months returns are negative 14.26%. Now let's have a look at simple moving average data. Moving average indicates that what could be the next footprint of the stock price in near future. Five-day average is 115 with a bearish indication. 10-day is 118 with a bearish indication. 20-day average is 119, which is a bearish signal. Let's look at fundamental analysis. We will mainly see the last two quarters of the company. In June 22, the revenue was $21,161 million. In the recent quarter, September 22, it declined to $21,013 million. Now let's see the profitability of Kanoko Phillips in the quarter June 22. The profits were $51.45 million. And in the recent quarter, September 22, the profits declined to $45.27 million. Let's see debt numbers. Debt to equity number tells us how much the company is in debt. In the first quarter, it was 0.44. Then it decreased to 0.38. Then in third quarter, it again went down to 0.34. In the recent quarter, the debt score increased to 0.35. Generally, this ratio should not be over 2.0. This is today's buy or sell decision for the stock, which is purely based on the technical indicators. This is not a recommendation, but use this just as a guiding pointer for your stock picking.